Why won't you sign it? Let me explain something to you about business, since, as usual, you're turning this into something about yourself. No contract means I have all the power. They want me, but they can't have me. You're right. <laughs> I need to calm down. Who is he visiting? Is this Charles Whitmore? Wake up, Charles. Ooh. I'm about to give this man a knife. It's about to be a bloody birthday. Yeah. Are you ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, guys, to some more Lost. We're here again to watch episode 13 of season two for lost man We're enjoying the show um last episode was pretty interesting with charlie i'm saying going off the rails <laughs> but here we are again with another episode man um i think we're in the mid-season stride you know what i'm saying the mid-season stride is always weird when it comes on to tv shows so let's see what they do if they do anything super exciting reveals anything like that um loving the relationship between anna and jack i think that's a better fit for him because i'm just a huge michelle rodriguez fan and i think they have to to me i believe they have better chemistry on the show even in the small amount of time that she's been back i think they have better um conversations and stuff like that kate is I'm saying she's complicated and i think she would probably fit more with sawyer <laughs> as much as i don't want to say that <laughs> you know what i'm saying because um you know i was rooting for jack and kate to be together in the show because they they fit well but not as well as kate and sawyer would fit you know what i'm saying um i think they i think they have a little bit more more chemistry on the show because i've just come around to understand who sawyer is you know what i'm saying he's not a quote unquote bad guy he's a very selfish person but at the very same time he's a he's he covers a lot of his good qualities with you know over the top commentary and stuff like that like he covers up that side of him because he doesn't want it's like a pretense pretense you know it's it's like he's pretend pretend pretense he's like he's pretending to be something that he's not because he doesn't want to be vulnerable in you know or seen as vulnerable or seen as soft you know what i'm saying is this front you know what i'm saying and it's not even like a um you know standing in his in his masculinity or anything like that it's just you know this this facade of a person that he puts on you know what i'm saying even the, the name sawyer that he takes on you know what i mean so it's just weird but in any case <laughs> if you guys want to see more episodes of lost you want to watch ahead because by the time you're watching this episode of lost on youtube we should be way further ahead on the patreon so make sure you go check it out man link is down in the description Let's jump into the reaction and I will see you guys for the review. Jack, I'm grateful that you decided to keep mom in the same place. Oh, I had to take them from Charlie, his heroin stash. Well, I figured it might have therapeutic value if it ever came to that. Just gonna leave it all in the statues? You wanna break seven virgin marys? Be my guest. I'm superstitious. The combination. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're asking me because you're worried that I might fall off a cliff or something. That it would be irresponsible for just one of us to have access to this room rather than this being an issue of trust. All right. But I think we should agree, Jack that if either of us need to open this door, we consult each other first. Absolutely. And Jack, you may want to consider locking the medicine in here too. 
Why would I need to do that? Well, how you think you're doing? You stole these from the hash. You stole them from me. What? They were in my stash when I left. I just took back what was mine. These belong to all of us, Sawyer, to the group. Just give me the pills. We'll forget it ever happened. Are you threatening me? Last chance, Doc. Right, this man literally saved your life. You worried about some pills. Are you serious, man? You was a con? Uh, artist? I'm gonna be late for that I meeting hope. I told you about. <laughs> Meeting, huh? You got another date? You can just say so. Oh, it's the same lady. I just didn't remember her. See that? Are you say It's the same lady. Give me that. It's not even real. Newspaper? Some money? Look. Good for you. You should have done your homework. I didn't take anything from him in the divorce. So he does the same the con on multiple women? Show me what you do. What you really do. And what do I do? Show me how to con people, Sawyer. Oh, it's the same woman. It's, no, it's the same face. trick. <laughs> Made the day off. I lost my damn glasses on the raft. You want to read it to me? What, you got an appointment or something? <laughs> now there's a sensitive man. Claire asked him to sleep down here. Come on, Clark's got himself needs. I guess that's why old Jacko and Anna Lulu didn't ask me to join their revolution. What, you didn't hear about their little army? Guess I'm not the only one on the outs with the dock. Well, we they already know that she was already on the outs because of what she didn't listen to him. Hey. Hey. You get the combo? That's the nice thing about you people. You're not scared enough. <sighs> not scared enough. Same reason we can't talk anyone into joining the army. Everyone around here actually thinks they're safe. So, Jack, what's the combo? I'm not going to tell you what it is. I was just kidding. What are you doing out here? Go. Son. She all right? She's breathing. Go get Jack. Go get Jack. Okay. Where is Jack? Okay. Is she there. conscious at all? Did she say anything? Not, not a word. But I have she was to out cold and her hands were tied. You mean her hands were tied? They're back. We should take a look around. With guns. No. No. We arm up, we're just as likely to shoot each other as we are one of them. Wait for Sun to wake up, she'll tell us what happened. It's a possibility that it was Anna that staged this. It. Sounds like a plan. Let me ask you something. This whole scenario makes sense to you. What do you mean? Think about it. First off, how'd she get away? She's fighting for her life. People are capable of almost you anything. You can get away? You versus son, auto or death match? My money's on you, Sheena. Thanks for your vote of confidence. It's a hood. Just like the one they put over my head. No, it's not. This one's black, different weave. He's dead. Well, if it wasn't them, then who? Not much upside in securing the crap out of 46 people. Unless 
you trying to con him into joining an army. Hey. hey you guys want to buy some necklaces? Where'd you get them? What do you think? You want to buy them or not? I'll take the $1,200 one and the $1,300 one. Hey, wait. Hang on, man. I'll buy some of those. Yeah, me too. Six, seven. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't buy jewelry from strangers. <laughs> Pulse is good. People make Strong. such bad decisions to, uh, watch <laughs> in life. Sometimes you just watch it in real time and you're like, why okay, would you man. buy jewelry from a stranger? Jack, how well do you know Anna Lucia? The other is it. I was out there with you. Heard that man say that if we stayed away, they'd leave us alone. So why would they attack us a few days later? If it wasn't them, then who was it? Like I said, how well do you know Anna Lucia? Hey, I would check it out just for... The point so is, that I'm saying. after what happened, people are finally willing to do something. Where were you this morning? You think I had something to do with Sun getting grabbed? Now, where I don't did know. you get an idea like that? I don't know. Jack! <sighs> Maybe she saw who did it. It could have been a hey. dude. I don't know, man. Maybe it yeah, is the others. Pain, dizziness. I was being dragged. How many were there? I don't. I didn't see anything. 지금 뭐라 한 거야? 나한테도 말해봐. 당신한테 말한 거 그대로예요. Gun. Gun. Hey, what's going on? It's like the good folks of Iowa in town are about to form a posse. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Jack didn't find that horse of yours. Are leading the charge in a big white hat. <laughs> this guy, bruh. This is all her play to get her hands on the guns. Lock, you need to go and tell them that they're coming. Remember when I told you that I didn't get anything from the divorce? Mm hmm. Kind of lied how much? 600 grand. For the first time in my life, I'm actually happy. From conning it's not really people? About the action or the money. It's about doing this with you. Uh, maybe Sawyer's being conned. I think Who knows? Why don't you think about it in here? <laughs> James. <laughs> actually, John, I'm here to help you. Give you the heads up. You should know he's not alone. Once those guns are out and about, something tells me they ain't never going back in. But if I were you, I'd change that combination pronto. Help you what? Move the guns. How long till they get here? Well, that ain't my problem, horse. It's yours. So. Tell me you got her. Yeah, I got her. All 600 grand? All six. I waited six months while you and Cassidy played house. Now, if you think I that... I ain't doing it. Now, Tiger doesn't change his stripes, James. I just can't do it. No, you're going to do it. Because that girl, she doesn't know you one bit. You owe me. You don't want to pay me? I'll put one in your ear, James. You and your little friend, Cassidy. Now, what can I do you for? Where's Locke? I don't know. I think he said something about going to the store for a pack of smokes. Where are we at? I believe these are yours. I don't know what the hell Jenna's saying. Like, <laughs> why are they not translating what he's saying? I don't speak Korean. Yes. Move the guns. Where? Where? Where, John? Well, are you going to start handing them out? I made a mistake teaching Michael how to shoot. Now he's... 
he could be dead for all I know. And that, 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 that was my fault. I take responsibility for that. Now I'm tell me where they are right now. Yes. You gave him the guns. No. No. <laughs> I hid them. That's right, Jack. He's as stupid as you are. Sawyer's the one. How about you listen up? I'm only gonna say this once. Is this because Jack took his pills? He took my stuff. Well, I'm done taking orders. Sawyer did this? And I don't want my stuff back. Only thing that matters now are guns. And if you want one, you're gonna have to come to me to get it. New sheriff in town, boys. Mercado deal? What there is no Mercado deal. I knew about the 600 grand you had tucked away from the get-go. You were the long con. That was real. Get out. You get out. You can hate me all you want later. But right now, you gotta listen to me. There's a rental car parked out front. Go to Sioux City. I want you to check in. Sage Flower Motel. There's no time. You remember when you said I was all you ever wanted? Oh, now you know better. So I actually love somebody. Oh, they that's, do. that's great. Go. This man really just did this over painkillers. I, I can't. Locke said that. He left you in the hatch when he went to hide the guns. And we both know you can't track where the dam. You played us. You played me. All that stuff you said about Anna Lucia, you knew I would go to Jack. Did you have anything to do with son? What kind of a person do I think you are? <laughs> I can't I believe he just said anything that. Anything to do with guns? I think you want people to hate you. What did I say? Tiger, don't change your stripes. All right. So Sawyer doesn't have anything to do with Son. So is he working with Anna? Worried about his son and guns than being followed. Ah, uh, he worked with Charlie to get know where the guns are. It's not why I did it. It's not, huh? I wanted him to look like a fool. To feel like a fool. Son can never find out what I did to her. Never. I'm sweating. This idea, all of this, what we did, have someone think of something like that. Did he send her away with the fake money? Is that what happened? I think he sent her with the fake money. Nobody's in the car. He sent her away with the fake money. Sent her away with the fake money. Because he's evil. That's what it is. I'm not a good person, Charlie. Yeah, you're certainly telling us that. Good thing in my life. Do you know what's great about Lost so far? You, there's certain characters that you can pin down and be like, okay, I see you for what you are. And then there's certain characters that are very complex, i.e. Sawyer, very complex character. Um, as you can see, from you know things that has been happening you know i've been saying that you know sawyer just it, it's like 
he feels like he deserves hatred but at the same time you can't excuse all the bullshit that he does you know what i'm saying like you can't excuse it because he's choosing to be that way which is not it's not his nature to be a certain way you know what i'm saying like it's just not it's not his nature to be that way he chooses to be this conniving con artist you know what i'm saying and it's really not him it's a it, it's it's kind of like what i was talking about lying right i think it was the last episode i was talking about lying and he lies so much he actually you know his life is a complete lie to the point where the lies become his persona like he really does believe that that's who he is because he's been convinced that that's who he is and because he's good at it you know what i mean it was a brilliant thing that he did don't get me wrong distracting everybody it's the long con for sure to get control of the guns but to do this over you not being able to have access to the pills and the reason why jack is doing that is because dude it's not about your stash it's about the fact that we're trying to live as a community here right i would say what jack should do is give him a certain amount you know what i'm saying like give him uh, it's painkillers give him a certain amount and say okay you know take take one of these per day or whatever the situation is. do it just like a prescription right and let him have that amount right but then again it's just pain so it's just pain and some of it you're you're out of the woods your life is not in danger anymore you don't need to constantly sometimes you gotta grit your teeth and go through some pains that are you know from you getting hurt prior some injury or something like sometimes you gotta grit your your teeth and deal with that pain because it's not constant. And I notice from experience that, you know what I'm saying? Not all pain is constant, especially if it's just an injury. And especially if it's not an, a head injury, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're in constant pain. Um, there's some injuries also, you know what I'm saying? On the body that you can experience constant pain, but obviously that's not the situation with sawyer he's not in constant pain so you know what i mean so for me the way how i look at it and from what he's doing is completely unnecessary now this is how petty this dude is this dude makes a plan with charlie of course because you know the two of them are the most hated person amongst the group right now you know what i'm saying he used that against charlie to use him is like oh we're the two most hated we should we should partner up you know what i'm saying and just take over it's new sheriff in town right and i don't know what's going to happen next i can only i can only speculate as to what they're going to do here going forward now because with sawyer being in this position where he's you know in charge of the guns and they're gonna have to come to him and whatnot what are they gonna pay you with stuff what are they gonna pay you with they don't have nothing like what are they gonna pay to get guns are you protecting people what what are you doing what is the goal of this you know what i'm saying like what is the goal here you con them to get to get control of the guns what is the purpose of you getting the guns you know what i'm saying are you gonna keep people from you know gung hoing for guns every time something happens or something like that you know and to be honest and that's why i said during the episode somebody should figure out a way but, but listen i don't advocate for murder bro <laughs> sawyer is getting on top of my nerves i think someone should just put him out of his misery at this point because it just i just don't understand 
why he feels the need to be hated so much because he's it's like i've never been a good person understandable you try so hard to be bad how can you be good you know what i'm saying you try it's like it's like your perfection is like how bad of a bad guy can i be and you punish yourself by making you know you have a choice between good and bad you're gonna choose the bad every single time because you're trying to prove a point i mean really how petty of a person can you be to behave like that you know what i mean it's just it's just one of those things about as i said he's a very some characters i think when it comes on to com to complex characters i think him and kate is the two most complex characters in the show jack very straightforward you know what he stands for and you understand it based on his background as decisions that he's made in the past from all the, the um the um the backstory that we have of him right you just understand things very straightforward from his point of view right but with with sawyer and kate kate you you really don't know she's she's not a very good she doesn't listen to authority she she's just this type of person where she's on she's on the run and there's a reason why she's on the run of course we know she killed her fa her stepfather well no she killed her she killed her father it was her father and i don't remember exactly how it went down it was her father that she lit the house on fire killed her father right she's been wanted for that crime if down they catch her she gets away right so she has been lucky now she's on an island she don't need to run anymore but she's still kind of running in ge in general by just not listening to some things she's very scared there's certain things that happen it's a very complex character a lot of things happen in that brain of hers just like sawyer right and i don't know what's going to happen in the future with the show but what i'm hoping for what i'm hoping for with these two characters especially sawyer is for sawyer to come around to being somewhat of a good person and to understand that that's not who he is this these decisions you're making you're making decisions against your own good nature because you feel like you need to be punished for all the bad things that you do so you continue to do bad things it's 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 the dumbest cope in history that i've ever seen <laughs> bro you know how messed up you gotta be in your mind to continuously do bad things you're worse than criminals <laughs> you're worse you you are literally just petty you're just petty just for petty sake you know what i'm saying you know what i mean like you're trying so hard to be a villain when you're not a villain <laughs> you know what i mean it, it's it's you know what I mean? Because you feel like you need to be punished for all the bad things you've done in the past. So let's continue to do bad stuff because that's who people know. Like, dude, right? If you if you didn't work so hard at being a bad person, everybody came crashed on this island could have had a clean slate. Clean slate of who they are. Right? You could be like, you know what? I used to kill people for a living. Maybe I was a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? But now on this island, I can have a clean start. Why can't everybody got, you know, kind of have an outlook like what John has? John, you know what I'm saying, was, was a cripple. You know what I'm saying? He was paralyzed for whatever reason. We still don't know how he got paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? We knew that he gave up one of his kidneys to his biological dad. Right? But he had a completely different outlook since he came to this island. He calls it destiny. He's like, I got my legs back. What's there to be mad about? The last thing we know from, you know, from the future, future that we saw from him trying to get to, you know, to do this walkabout or whatever. Right. And we saw that. He was still in the wheelchair. 
he was in a wheelchair I, we don't even know how the hell he got to australia did he just i mean oh yeah what am i saying he went to australia on the plane and he was flying back that's when the plane crashed it was like you know stuff happens right so this is kind of insane to me i'm not saying that john is the you know what i'm saying the greatest character ever or something like that but his outlook on things is very optimistic rather than pessimistic and i i admire that you know what i'm saying because he's always he analyzes before he responds and that's the trait of somebody who is wise sawyer not so much he's as dumb as a doornail when it comes on to 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 certain things he makes very rash decisions in the moment if he has time to think about it yes he can do a long con it takes a certain level of intelligence i'm sure if i had time to think about shit i could con people it's not anything you know you gotta be like a genius to do let's just be honest about it people get conned every day you know what i'm saying it's it's kind of like a child trying to outsmart their parent you just you grow up you have you get enough intelligence and you do enough research you know what i'm saying and you can essentially learn how to con people because people are easily um distracted in general and you can essentially use sleight of hand of the mind to fool people into thinking things right especially in this internet age come on man it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to actually do stuff people get conned all the time even on the internet with people doing things and they don't even realize that that they're, they're them, they themselves is getting conned how many times we've heard of stories with streamers conning their subscribers out of their money and stuff like that and you know just for a huge cash grab i could name a few but i'm not gonna do that there's no need to but you guys know look up the stories you'll find plenty of them you know what i'm saying um it's not a, it's not the majority it's definitely a minority um of people that's out there doing that but as i said it doesn't take a lot to fool people into especially giving you money for shit that you don't intend to do with it it's not very hard to do these days especially in this um internet age right so i'm not gonna sit here and praise sawyer for conning people and be like no you're you're not too smart <laughs> okay you're not too smart you're just you're good enough because you the, the the fact of the matter is um to keep people off guard at the very least i'll give him this he's a very good liar that i'll give him and that you know what i'm saying in itself plays into you being a con man you got to be a extremely good liar you know what i'm saying without tells you got to actually believe the lies that you're telling it's just it's crazy you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna sit here even though in practically every tv show that i've watched where they're highlighting con men they always you know dress them up as these super intelligent people they're not <laughs> okay they're not they're not on some genius level of intelligence like their iq is like over 200 or some or, or something like that and regular people like me and you they just they do their research and they figure out how to con people and i'm pretty sure as i said if i had enough time or if i wanted to go into that and i had enough time to do it i could put on a pretty good con as well <laughs> you know what i'm saying if i wanted to you know what i mean and i'm not no super genius you know what i'm saying my iq is over the last time i checked my my iq is a little bit over average you know what i'm saying I, i'm not no genius either you know what i mean um by me sitting here while <laughs> doing reaction videos <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm uh, doing reaction videos i know i'm not i've just figured out things in life and I'm better for it. I've made so many mistakes in life. I'm not saying geniuses don't make mistakes, but I'm saying like, there's so many things that I've done that are just absolute dumb stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, when I look back and be like, hey, you know what, I could have done that a little better. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm a little upset when it comes on to this character in general, because I was literally just talking about it this season. I was like, 
you know, he, he's a sweet guy. That's what I've been saying about him. He's a sweet guy just pretending to be this terrible person. And he just, every time he gets a chance to redeem himself as a character, he doubles down on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the writers because they're doing a good job of writing this character to just make you pissed off with him. But that's okay. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much. That's all I have to say about this episode, man. It was great. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you, what kind of personality, what would you diagnose? <laughs> what would you diagnose Sawyer with if you were like a psychiatrist or something? <laughs> Cause I mean, this is some out of this, it's not out of the world behavior because you know what I'm saying? I don't know anybody that has ever done, ever done something like this, but I know people who hate themselves because of stuff they've done in their past you know what i'm saying like hate themselves i don't know what diagnosis for that is i'm pretty sure there's it's called something <laughs> i don't know um you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure it's called something they got a term for everything these days especially in um you know doctor stuff so let's jump into the reaction Let's jump into the reaction. I, I don't forgot how to do my outro. Anyways, guys, leave a like, leave a comment. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later, man. <laughs> Peace.